What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. Bagi Bruno Goroki Padilla dan gua kemarin sempat menonton pertandingan antara Cleveland Cavaliers melawan uh, OKC Thunder yang dimenangkan oleh Cleveland Cavaliers. Nah, kemarin gue sempat nih sebelum pertanyaan itu interview dengan asisten coach Cavaliers yaitu coach Phil Handy mengenai new look Cavaliers dan juga temannya dia itu James Clark yang sekarang menjadi advisor untuk Charles Nash Indonesia. Kalau begitu guys, nanti setelah video ini juga gue ingin mereview sedikit tentang uh, new look Cavaliers tapi gue sekarang mau ajak kalian dulu untuk menonton interview gue dengan coach Phil Handy. So, let's check it out. Coach, there are a lot of Chetty Osman fans in Indonesia. How do you like his progress so far? Very, very good young player. Um, you know, man, he's he's one of those guys. He's he's bigger than he looks. He's six foot eight, and he's got some good size on him, and he's got some speed. Plays extremely hard. Um, I think for him, you know, we've been spending a lot of time on his ball handling, his footwork, and his three point shooting. And he's just he's a worker, man. I, I'm really all of us, coaching staff, his teammates. Uh, he brings a lot of energy, energy to the team. So obviously you guys have a couple of new players now. How do you like the new look of the Cavaliers? You know, I think um, we got younger. Mm. We got more athletic. Um, I mean, I'm really happy with the trades that we picked up. You know, the guys that we had here before were great guys too. They're all really good players. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. Um, but the new guys that we have here, man, I think they're a great fit for our team. And just, again, the, the young and the athletic part is, is something that we were missing. And that's going to be a tremendous help to us. So this is your fifth season with the Cavaliers. What is it like to see LeBron James practice and work out every day? You know, man, guys like that, guys like LeBron and Kobe, you know, those guys, man, they take care of their bodies. So as a coach and a player, You know, it's always great to see your best player in the gym every day, in the weight room, on the court. You know, it's good for the rest of the team to see that as well. So, I mean, hey man, greatness is, is, is earned. You know, you, you pick up your greatness through practice and the, the habits that you do every day. And, and that's just a, that's a result of what he does every day. So there's a, there was a video about, on you and LeBron and his son working out. So how is little Bronny? <laughs> little Bronny's gonna be good. You know, he's... Um, I think you ask his father, yeah. he's more skilled than his dad was at his age. Um, and he's, he's got a really good skill set. He's got a very good instinct for the game. And I think he's, I think he's going to be a, somewhat of a replica of his dad if he continues to grow. Uh, I think he's, gonna have, he's got a chance to be a really good player. So your friend now, uh, James Clark, is in Surabaya as an advisor for Chalice Net Indonesia. What do you like the most about his work? You know, James, I've known James since, since high school. Um, and he's been a guy that studied with me and worked out with me and, and I've tried to mentor him in the training game. I just like that he works, he's a hard worker. And two, he pays attention to details. You know, he's, he's a true student of the game and so hopefully, you know, he's bringing some, some assistance to, to Coach Coco and the, you know, the CLS Knights and Sarah Baya, but I thought that that was a great addition to the team because he can bring some energy. Did you get a chance to catch up on, on their games? This no, I watch. I watch online. Any oh. chance I get, I'll try to watch stuff on YouTube. Uh, I know you guys sometimes post the highlights. So any opportunity I get, I try to keep up with those guys and see what they're doing, man. I know they had a rough patch, you know, lost some, some games. But, you know, I know they picked up Shane Edwards, who was, who was with us, the Cavaliers, and picked up a couple other players. So I think they can make a push. They just got to keep working and keep playing hard every night. So now the Cavaliers have two guys that went to Surabaya, you and Jordan Clarkson for CLS Net Indonesia, so it's crazy. Huh? Yes. But thank you coach for the interview and uh, good no luck problem. for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you. Itu interview gue dengan Coach Phil Handy dan setelah interview itu gue sempat ngobrol sebentar dengan dia dan dia bilang LeBron James itu sekarang moodnya lagi happy banget dengan trade yang baru dilakukan oleh Cleveland Cavaliers jadi dia bilang ini warning untuk tim-tim lain bahwa LeBron kalau lagi moodnya sangat happy sangat berbahaya banget uh, di lapangan nantinya. 
Tapi uh, ngomongin LeBron, emang gue kan juga liat LeBron emang happy Apalagi dia sering selebrasi bareng karena dengan teman-teman barunya Apalagi Jordan Clarkson seperti yang kalian bisa lihat Dan kalau gue bilang pemain, ngomongin Jordan Clarkson ini pemain yang paling bermain pakai passion Gue bilang ini pemain barunya Cavaliers ya Karena gue gak tau kenapa pas main nonton OKC lawan Cleveland itu gue liat tuh Kayak Clarkson itu tuh bener mau nunjukin kalau dia tuh pemain bagus Dan juga bisa membantu tim Cleveland Cavaliers ini untuk uh, balik lagi ke finals ataupun juara NBA nantinya Gue gak tau dapet aja vibes itu pas nonton si Jordan Clarkson bener kayak tiap kali 3 point dia kayak bener selebrasi Terus tiga, tiap kali 3 point kayak apa sih kayak ngepalin tangannya gitu jadi kayak dia tuh bener happy banget kayak pindah suasana dari LA ke Cleveland kandidat juara jadi uh, itu sih yang gue liat dari tim baru ini tapi walaupun baru dua game prospeknya sih gue bilang Cleveland ini bagus banget ke depannya gue liat semua pemain juga kompak dengan pemain baru semua pemain baru mau belajar polanya Cleveland juga sebelum pertandingan empat pemain baru tersebut duduk sendiri-sendiri sih ada empat assistant coaches mereka sama-sama belajarin apa playnya Cleveland Cavaliers jadi Uh, ini kan mereka baru, baru latihan dua kali kayak bareng masalah, jadi belum hafal pola-pola permainannya masih belajar tapi katanya Lebron James nggak akan masalah bila mereka membuat kesalahan di lapangan jadi makanya itu membuat transisi para empat pemainnya kayak lebih nyaman karena Lebron bilang nggak uh, ada hal yang akan dilakukan oleh mereka itu salah gitu jadi mereka sudah merasa diterima sekali oleh Lebron James sehingga itu lebih membuat mereka sangat nyaman makanya gue bilang kenapa dua game pertama ini mereka bisa bermain bagus banget dan itu aja sih video gue semoga bermanfaat untuk kalian jangan lupa untuk kasih like video gue dan juga untuk komen uh, tentang Cleveland Cavaliers dan gue mau bilang apa ya good luck untuk uh, Chelsea Indonesia hari minggu ini lawan Saigon Heat semoga bisa menang karena kita harus uh, masuk playoff kalau bisa mengejar Saigon Heat tapi Uh, itu aja sih untuk video gue hari ini. Thank you guys for watching and peace.